what I want to show today in Make Code is a brief little introduction to the JavaScript side of Make Code. So this is kind of a um, entry level into scripting uh, rather than doing visual block based stuff. And, and clearly one of the great strengths of Make Code is the visual um, style of dragging and dropping and the logic that kind of makes the flow chart as you're building the program or vice versa. And I love that. So one thing, however, is that when you're doing repetitive things, uh, it's sometimes easier to go and deal with text. So here's a really nice example of, of a case when I would use this for real. So what I have here are two blocks that are on button down and on button up. And if you look over here at the simulator, let me point the wrong way, that's hard to do, but if you look at this simulator here, when I press a, the A button down, it lights up red. And now when I release that mouse button, it lights up blue. Red on down, blue on up. And so that's why I have these two blocks here. Button A down, set all pixels to red. Button A up, set all pixels to blue. So if I want to now set up, say, two different colors on the B button here. Right now the B button doesn't do anything. I could proceed to duplicate these blocks and change their individual dropdowns and colors. Uh, I could build it from scratch again. So I could say, drag in a on button A. Let me put it under my face here. Switch that to button B. Switch that to down. And then go get the lights block. It's not, not terrible by any means. But in some cases, you're doing things enough that you want to copy and paste your text. So. If you look up here at the top of Make Code, you'll see that we have not only the blocks interface, which is the one that we see by default, but we also have JavaScript. So now if I switch to JavaScript, uh, it's going to go right in my face and it might be hard for you to read. So if I drop this down a little bit, you can see it. But what I decided to do is actually copy and paste this text, uh, which is the text that occurs. Oh, that's kind of readable. Maybe we'll leave it like that. That's the text that is generated automatically, or the code in JavaScript that's automatically created with those blocks. So what I can do is copy these, and I'm going to paste them. So now if I highlight that, just so you can see it a little better, um, let me make sure you can still see that. Yes, you can. Uh, the new set here, input button A, I'm going to switch to B. Down, I can leave it down, and I'll probably change the color. It might be easier to change the color out in the block because I don't know the hex colors off the top of my head. Um, so let's look at this. If I just switch button A to B there, so that's what I just switched, input button B, and same with this second one here, button B. Now if I go back over to the blocks, it will generate those for me. And now it sort of messes with the uh, layout a little bit, so it's back on my face, sorry. Uh, so we'll move these over here. So there's the button B. We'll leave the button A's over here. Okay, so now I can change the colors. Uh, so let's say we get yellow and we get purple. You'll see over in the JavaScript now, if I highlight these, uh, we have different colors listed in their hex values. Uh, but that was easier for me to do over here. Oh, look, it kept the layout that time. I guess it's because I didn't add anything. Uh, there are little files being saved sort of in the preferences of your session, I think, that, that store these things. Um, so now, if we go over and look at our simulator, I can press the B button and go from yellow to purple, or the A button and go from red to blue. And this, of course, would now be downloaded to my actual Circuit Playground Express by downloading this UF2 file. The Circuit Playground Express, when I double click the button shows up as the reset button that is shows up as a USB drive. I drag the file on and we're done. So that is a brief introduction to the powerful side of the JavaScript half of Make Code, uh, which I encourage you to take a look at if you've been getting your um, if you've been getting experience with Make Code and you want to try doing some more advanced things or some bigger things where can get a little cumbersome to duplicate blocks all over the place. Uh, and you're not, it's not a one-way street. So long as you use code that is understood by the block side of things, you can go back and forth between the graphical and the text interface. So that was your Make Code Minute, sponsored by my coffee.